Welcome back to the Chad Easty Show, News Talk KFYO. Thank you very much for tuning in on this open line Friday. Coming up uh, this this weekend, uh, a launch party for the Cap Rock Writers and Illustrators Alliance. And uh, joining us uh, in studio, KJ Waters, who has uh, joined us uh, a few times uh, yeah. here on the program. And uh, we also have uh, another author, S.J. Dahlstrom, uh, who you've heard here on KFYO as well. Welcome back. Happy to be here. Yeah. Um, tell folks uh, about what's going to be going on this weekend. Yeah. Well, tomorrow from 10 to 12 at the Garden Art Center, which is on University Avenue, we are doing a launch party for our alliance. Um, it's, an, uh, it's a group that we've created. It's actually recreated. It was uh, a couple years ago. Someone else had been running it. But we're relaunching it. It's a place that we're going to bring a lot of authors together and a lot of resources around that. So our launch party, we're going to have two big authors there, obviously S.J. Dahlstrom, but we're also having Jody Thomas, who is a, uh, she's in the Hall of Fame for the Romance Writers of America. Um, they'll be there signing their books and meeting and greeting people. Uh, we're also having a writing contest. We're doing a quick microfiction. We don't want you to spend too much time, but we'll have a $50 gift card for Barnes Noble as a prize. We'll do first, second, and third place um, for that. So we want you to come out and enjoy. Uh, we'll have food. We've got a lot of different groups there. We've got the West Texas Illustrators um, group. We've got the um, library will be there, Literacy of Lubbock. Uh, we have a really fun concept we're going to have. Uh, it's kind of like a bingo card that we're calling a passport. And as you go around to the different areas, you'll get a stamp um, from them, and you'll turn it in at the end to get tickets to win the door prizes. And the door prizes we have are f from the local authors around. Um, SJ's donated some books, so has Jody. A few illustrators have donated their art, and we've got some gift certificates from around town. So it should be a lot of fun. We hope you all come out and join us. Um, it's sponsored by my um, uh, author consulting business, KJ Waters Consultancy. Uh, so I hope you come out and learn a, lunch, learn a lot. The other thing that we're doing is um, we have a monthly meeting, and that's what we're trying to build towards. Our right. first meeting is March 14th with Barbara Brannon, who used to be the, uh, the ran this group. Um, we're also, uh, so each month on the second Saturday at the Garden Art Center, um, we're hoping that people will join as members. They'll get to get into all those meetings for free. Uh, $40 membership for the whole year. And we are open to the public if you just want to come and try out a meeting or two. Yeah. So. And so the, 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 uh, what's going to be going on on Saturday, the, the launch party, this is free and open to it's, everyone, right? Yep. Free for everyone. We're going to have lots of food and fun and the prizes. So come and join us. Yeah. SJ, tell folks a little bit about yourself and, and some of the books that, uh, that, that you've published. Well, I started writing books about about 10 years ago, my mentor is the well-known Texas author, John R. Erickson, who writes the Hank the Cowdog books. And I started hanging out with him, and we, I would cowboy at his ranch, and we'd have talks. And uh, so I thought, well, maybe I could write books like this guy. And so I wrote a little piece, and I sent it to him, and I thought he was going to email me back and say, you're the next Ernest Hemingway. You're the smartest uh, – <laughs> You're the smartest kid I've ever met. What took me 50 years to accomplish, you've done in a, a matter of minutes. And he sent me the opposite. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> he, he, he sent me an email that said, your story was real good for about three sentences, and then you took it out in the pasture and shot it between the <laughs> eyes. So so anyway, uh, I started writing at that point. And, and, and so maybe what this alliance is about is about encouraging young writers. And that doesn't seem like encouragement, what John Erickson gave me. But what it was, was you've done some things well, mm -hmm. but this is hard and yeah. this is a craft and you don't wake up one day and become an expert at hosting a radio show. You got to work at it and you got to plan for it. And so, uh, that's what I started doing 10 years ago. And that's, you know, what writers will be doing tomorrow. And so you need other people to encourage you kind of on that journey. For, for you and, and, you know, what, what your experience has been and, and maybe uh, folks who are aspiring writers and, and just mm -hmm. writers in general, when they come up to you, what's, what's like the big struggle that, that, that people have when they are either first starting out or, you know, maybe even on their third, fourth book? What's, what's one of the, some of the big struggles that people go through? I would say the biggest struggle when I talk to people is really being able to take critical feedback. You mm -hmm. know, to be an artist, it means you have to be a little bit imaginative and a, and a little bit abstract. And so that's what gets those things flowing. But the flip side is uh, you've also got to be able to 
you know, to respect the craft. And this takes a long time uh, to really be good at it and, and, and to make money at it. Not that the whole point of writing is to make money at it, but uh, you got to write maybe five or six or seven bad books and maybe three or four or five or 600 really bad poems mm-hmm. before you start getting to some good stuff. Right. Uh, and so much, very little of life maybe, maybe prepares you for that. You get a bachelor's degree in English and you think, well, I'm good at English now. No, that doesn't, you know, you may be equipped to teach school perhaps, but it's, you're a long way from really maybe accomplishing something artistically. So I don't know, maybe that's it. And not many people want to hear that. And so you really got to have that, that push to say, I want to stay with this for a long time. Yeah. You you brought a, a a copy of uh, one of your books, Silver Belly. Tell folks a a little bit about this because we're going to give away a copy. Uh, Silver Belly is just a book for, uh, all those kids, I go around to schools. Well, I'll talk about that book specifically. I go around to schools everywhere and read to kids all these books. And when they know that I'm an outdoorsman, I've done some cowboying, that all these little Texas kids say, what's the biggest deer you ever killed? <laughs> and so, and I love that. I love that because it means there's kids going out with dads and granddads. But from the hunting, from a hunter's perspective, an outdoors perspective, there's more to hunting than just killing the biggest deer. And so there's a message that you want to encapsulate hopefully in a good piece of fiction that is for those kids in the book silver belly that says that the hunting is a great thing, but it's about more than killing the biggest deer. So yeah. I guess that's what that book is about. Well, thanks for stopping by today. Appreciate well, it. Thrilled. Uh, KJ, one more time, tell folks uh, the particulars about the lunch party. All right. It's tomorrow at the garden art center, which is on university Avenue. It's from 10 to 12 open house. It's free. Food, fun, and fabulous friends. Awesome. That's uh, that's going to be great, and uh, we appreciate you stopping by, both of you for stopping by.